Now let's talk about the zoology part of the paper. So the very first question from zoology was read the following statements. They say metagenesis is observed in helminthes. So now what is metagenesis? Metagenesis refers to alternation of generation which is a characteristic feature that is seen in some cnidarians. So obviously metagenesis will not be observed in helminthes. So let's get this statement wrong. Then echinodermates are triploblastics, yes, and they are coelomate animals. So this is a correct statement. Then roundworms have organ system level of body organization. So roundworms, do they have organ system level of organization? Yes, they have organ system level of organization. So this statement also states correct. Then the next is comb plates present in tenophores help in digestion. So the comb plates which are present in tenophores, they don't help in digestion. Whereas they help in the process of locomotion that is in movement of the organism. So obviously this statement stands wrong. Then we come to the next statement. Water vascular system is a characteristic feature of echinoderms. Yes, this is a correct statement. And now we have to choose the correct answer from the options that are given below. The options are statement number A, D and E are correct. So we have seen the statement number B is correct. Then the statement number C is correct and the statement number E is correct. So if we look at all the options, we get that B, C and E is correct. That means our correct option for this statement is the B is the correct option for this question. Now let's come to the next question. The next question is a matching type of a question. So here we have to match the options which are given in list 1 with the list 2. The first is metamerism. We all know what is metamerism. Metamerism is the property of having repeated parts that is having repeated units which is also known as segmentation. Metameric segmentation is the correct name and segmentation is seen in three phylums we know that. One is Annelida, the other is Arthropoda and the third is Caudata. So if we have to match metamerism we will match it with Annelida. Coelentrata, Tenophora, Annelida and Porifera is the option. So obviously Annelida will go. A matches with 3. So let's look at all the options where A matches with 3. These are the only options where we get A matches with 3. So answer number B and option number C do not stand true. Then canal system. We know what a canal system is a characteristic feature of Porifera. So obviously B is going to match with 4. Now let's see the options. B matches with 4 over here also as well as here also. Now let's come to C. Comb plates. Comb plates is a characteristic feature of tenophores. So comb plates which help in locomotion will be matched with tenophore. That is C will be matched with 2. C matches with 2 over here and C matches with 1 over here. So obviously this does not hold the correct option and A will be our correct option. We are still with left matching D option so let's see that as well. Nidoblasts. Nidoblasts we know is a characteristic feature of cnidaria. These are stinging cells of cnidaria. So nidoblasts would be matched with coelentrata which are also known as cnidaria. So D stands correct with 1 and obviously our answer A is the correct option for this question. Right? Now, let's come to the next question. Here the question gives is, which of the following statements wrongly represents the nature of smooth muscles? So now it is saying wrongly represents. Wrongly represents as in, we have to find out an incorrect statement over here. The statement which is not correct. So come, let's read all the statements now. Communication among the cells is performed by intercalated discs. So intercalated discs we know is a characteristic feature of the cardiac muscles. This is not seen in smooth muscles. Intercalated discs act as signal boosters in the cardiac muscles. So obviously this is not a feature which is seen in smooth muscles. Our option A should sound correct. But we'll have to read all the statements, right? 
Then the next statement is these muscles are present in the wall of blood vessels. So are smooth muscles present in the wall of blood vessels? Yes, they are present in the walls. So this is the correct option. Then these muscles have no striations yes we know the smooth muscles are known as smooth because they are not having any type of striations they are also known as unstriated muscles they are also known as unstriped or non-striped muscles so obviously this statement holds true then they are involuntary muscles obviously these muscles are not under the control of a human's will so this statement again is correct we are just having one statement that is wrong and in the question we had to find out an incorrect statement. So obviously our answer to this question will be A option. Here it is. Now let's come to the next question. The centriole undergoes duplication during. So centriole duplication is a characteristic feature that we see in the S phase. S phase has two characteristic things. Number one is the duplication of centriole and the second is the doubling of the DNA or the genetic matter. So first option that is meta phase obviously is wrong, G2 phase wrong, S phase correct and pro phase wrong. S phase you should remember which is a phase of interface here we should remember that two main characteristic things are happening number one the doubling of DNA is taking place and second important point is the doubling or we can say the duplication of centriole as well so very simple question and the answer to this will be C now let's come to the next question so with regard to insulin we have to choose the correct option we have to find out the correct options with respect to insulin now let's read the first statement c peptide is not present in mature insulin so what is a mature insulin this is a picture which will help us in understanding it more now insulin in our body is released in a pre-insulin form pre-insulin form as in it is having three peptide chains that is it is having a a peptide chain it is having a b peptide chain as well as it is having a c peptide chain now when this pro insulin changes into insulin in our body then it causes the removal of the c chain so this is the mature insulin that is present in our body and mature insulin as we can see is present only of a peptide as well as b peptide and the c peptide chain is just left over so now let's read the statements c peptide is not present in mature insulin so obviously this is a correct statement then the insulin produced by recombinant dna technology has a c peptide so recombinant dna technology that was done by a company known as ellie lily they separately extracted the a chain as well as the b chain and then they facilitated the fusion of both these chains so obviously by recombinant dna technology the c chain was not produced then the pro insulin has c peptide obviously this is a correct statement as we have just seen then a peptide and b peptide of insulin are interconnected by disulfide bridges yes so these type of bridges the disulfide bridges connect the a chain as well as the b chain so obviously this is a correct statement now we have to choose the options of the correct statement we have seen the statement number a is correct we have seen statement number c is correct and statement number d is correct so out of all the options a c and d only are the correct b holds true b holds false so the correct option for this question will be a now let's see another question this is again a matching type of a question and this question is from chapter number 4 reproductive health of class 12th now here they are asking we have to match volts iud's vasectomy tubectomy we know what is volts volts are those substances those devices which prevent the entry of sperms into the uterus so the very first option will be matched with entry of sperms through cervix is blocked so they are attached to the cervix and obviously this option will hold true 
so any option which is having a matching with one should be our correct option and here we are, can see that there is only one option that is the d option which is matching a with one so we are partly sure that d is our correct option but we still have to read all the options right now the second is iud's so what are iud's iud's are intra uterine devices these devices are inserted inside the uterus so that they can facilitate the phagocytosis of sperms now so obviously out of all these options the b can be matched with third option and obviously our answer is holding true over here as well and in the other options in the other options nowhere b is being matched with 3 then vasectomy vasectomy is the cutting and removal of some part of the vas deferens so c will be matched with 2 and as we see the option d is matching c with 2 and d is matched with 4 so d refers to tubectomy and tubectomy is a similar type of a process which is seen in females here a part of the fallopian tube is cut and removed these both processes the vasectomy and tubectomy are sterilizing processes which help in preventing pregnancy so the option d is the correct option for this question and obviously we can see the answer is d now let's see the other question here is which of the following rnas is not required for the synthesis of proteins so now for the synthesis of protein that is translation we require mrnas we require ribosomes which are made up of rrnas as well as proteins then we require the various type of amino acids which are charged and those amino acids are brought on by the transfer rna so the ribosomal rna is definitely required mrna is definitely required trna is definitely required the siRNA are somewhere used in the process of RNA interference. So obviously siRNA will not be used in the formation of proteins and an answer over here will be obviously B. So this is a simple type of a question. Now let's come to the next question. Here they say you have to identify the incorrect pair. The incorrect pairing is given over here and these are the options of our secondary metabolites. So this is a question which has directly been asked from the NCRT of chapter number 9 that is biomolecules. And in biomolecules you will see there is this table given which is depicting some secondary metabolites. These are all the different type of metabolites as well as their examples are given. So this question can be directly solved if we know this table. Now let's see the options. Lecithins they have matched with concavlin A. So obviously we can see lecithin example concavlin A this is a correct pair. Then drugs are matched with resin. Resin is a type of a toxin right. So drugs example are only vinblastin and curcumin which are given in the NCRT. So obviously this is not a correct matching. Then alkaloids as in codeine we can see over here the alkaloids example given are morphine and codeine so obviously this option is also correct and then toxin abrin abrin is an example of a toxin which is matched over here and you can see as given in the book as well the toxin examples are abrin and resin so obviously this is again a correct option the answer which is not matching the pair which is not matching is b so obviously the answer to this question is going to be B. This question we have seen can be directly answered if you just know the knowledge, if you just have the knowledge of the table that is given in the NCRT. Then let's come to the next question. So this is a very simple type of a question that is a specific recognition sequence identified by endonucleases to make cuts at specific position within DNAs. So these recognition sequences, these specific recognition sequences are known as palindromic sequences. And this palindromic sequences is widely used in the biotechnology. Now what are palindromic sequences? Sequences which are read same on both the strands of DNA. Like for example, GAA, TTC 
if given on one strand and similarly if we are having g a a t t c if read from this side of the strand will obviously give us the same sequences that means if this particular sequence we are reading from this side of the strand then also it is same and if we read from the opposite end of the dna strand that is also same such type of sequences are recognized by the restriction endonucleases and they help in put making cuts specifically which form the sticky ends for joining the dnas with some other recombinant dnas so the answer to this question directly stands the first option that is palindromic nucleotide sequences no other sequence no other answer will be holding true for this particular question now the answer is obviously a so let's see the other question over here now the question over here is which of the following is not an objective of biofortification in crops now what is biofortification biofortification refers to the increase of nutritive content of a particular crop so increase in any nutritive component of any plant is known as biofortification so if you look at all the options here option a says improve vitamin vitamin content so obviously this is correct then option b says improve micronutrient and mineral content obviously this is correct third says improve protein content obviously this is correct and the third says improve resistance to the disease so resistance to the disease is not provided under biofortification and obviously the option d will be the incorrect option and this is not the objective of biofortification so our answer over here will be d so these were some questions of zoology in the next video we will take up the next set of 10 questions and discuss them